What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, you know what we're doing, it's a madness. Hit that subscribe button for more content. This is a three-parter. We're gonna be doing the dyeing and the prep today. The next video, we will be doing the black headlining, the third video all back together. So let's jump in. Oh so guys, no messing about, straight in there. I've already done one seat, so I could learn how to use the products, how it works, trial and error, things that go right, things that go wrong. I can tell you that I got this kit from a uh, furniture clinic and it's so far so good. The only thing that I would say is that they send you a little airbrush, which is good for little tiny bolsters, but for the whole seat, you're definitely gonna need a proper spray gun and compressor so let's waffle let's jump in and let's start on that seat oh right, guys i don't do how to videos that's never kind of the platform that i wanted but quickly explain it alcohol cleaner wipe everything down leather prep soak the cotton wool buds scrub it all and make sure you're getting all the cracks all the crevices as clean 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 as you can Wipe it down with alcohol again, leave it for an hour, start painting. So it is quite a simple process, but it's all about the prep to get the right finish. So let's jump in. So hopefully in that time lapse you've seen that the colour has gone from shiny red to a really dull matte finish. That's the sealant level. So you need to just go around and check to make sure that there's no shiny bits left. Wipe it down with leather prep, wipe it down with alcohol, leave it for an hour, then you can paint it, take off all the plastics or tape them up. Bye bang. So I'm going to call it a night, I'm going to come back at it tomorrow afternoon, I'm tired and this all needs to sit for a couple of hours anyway to make sure that there's nothing left in there in terms of the alcohol and the leather prep. So I'm going to tidy up a little bit because it's an absolute mess in here and we'll be back tomorrow afternoon in two seconds. Day two, let's jump straight in at it, so basically dying this seat and the back bench Hopefully today and then tomorrow I'll get the top part of that out of the car, get that done. That'll be Friday, Saturday door cards, Sunday final touches to get them all looking like that. Let's dive in.
So we've got the three coats of base down and basically you sponge that on, it changes the colour obviously, it's not quite orange yet, it's definitely not red, it's like a horrible reddy patchy, but it's all about getting it all in those seams, all in the cracks, so that when you paint you can just do flat coats, so let's begin. So you don't have to use a hairdryer, but it helps stop runs if you heat it up, obviously it dries in place rather than running, especially in the edges and the seals on this sort of seat. If you get too much paint in one of the cracks and it starts to run, it's gonna look shitty, which happened on that one. And I had to kind of like get a, a knife and like cut it, which was annoying. So first coat, obviously still patchy, but in terms of what we just had two seconds ago we definitely got orange now it's not quite to that level but it's the first coat really chuffed uh on this one so on the other one i took the back plate off i did not know how it would work but the paint seems to have taken once it's sealed we'll see how that actually turns out um so yeah we yet to see how that lasts to be honest because it's plastic and not so yeah round one i'm gonna leave it 15 minutes come back hit it again coat two and then coat three and we'll see how we get on i think there's a few bits on this one i might come back i mean on camera it looks good but when you're with it in real life there's a little sometimes you think it's shadows but when you kind of look you got these like little lines here so maybe a little bit more there a little bit down there so so a little bit more on that get that done and then i'll probably do these two and then seal these two so that they're completely done and i can take them out the way and then i can do the back seats so i think that's going to be the plan we'll leave this one for now finish this bring this one back over finish that get them both sealed and finished because you can't sit on them for 24 hours after so then we can get them both done put in the corner out of the way they're finished then we can crack on with the rest of the interior because we still need to get the door cards in and we have very limited space so i think that's going to be the plan finish painting this pull this paint it and do the back the same for that one seal then on to back seats tomorrow
got these two painted and I am low on paint. I've got about a quarter of that bottle left. So use one and a half bottles to do two seats. So I'm going to order another two bottles because as much as this is the one seat is probably the, the front of the seat is probably the equivalent for that. So use one and a half bottles that stands to reason that that would be a bottle or uh, three quarters of a bottle to do that. We took the two back pieces, the headrest. I'm going to do two more bottles just to make sure I've got enough. Luckily, these are done. So if the color is slightly, slightly different in the backs and the door cards, shouldn't be noticeable. But hopefully, they can mix up the same color. Yeah, so I'm going to order that right this second. So guys, I'm going to call it, we've got the paint done on the original seat, now we've got the paint done on the driver's seat. So the next thing we need to decide is whether we do a matte, or whether we do a gloss. I'm going to do a 50-50, I think, just so it has a little bit of shine, but it's not too glossy. Hopefully it'll just stay like it is now. I don't want to enhance that with the glossifier. If you just do 100% gloss, it'll be more shiny than that. It'll look rubbery, it'll look fake. So I don't want to do that. I've just ordered more paint, so that is going to be on its way, I don't know. So tomorrow when I finish work at 6, put the kids to bed for 7, half 7. So we'll come and whack the, this on. Then it needs to be mixed with hardeners to exact ratios, so I don't want to do that now. We're waiting for that paint to dry, I'd rather that paint fully, fully dries overnight and then we can come back two dry seats and then we whack it rather than doing it i'm tired now it's late so yes i'll see you guys in one second but for me it'll be tomorrow and i should have an update on the back seats it's a lot of work guys i'm gonna say this like it's not hard at all it's really not hard like if you've ever sprayed painted anything in your life it is the same as that you just really really scrub the seat to get all that protectant layer this leather finish you get all of that off and then just whack it on i mean i've been playing around this seat picking it up pushing the leather and, it, and it's just soft and springy and it's really not hard it just takes ages um so i can see why they charge you so much to do leather repair and stuff because it isn't hard but it's just long we're like 20 hours in and we've done two seats Right, I'm waffling. I'll see you tomorrow. Jump back in, 7pm, Friday night. We're now five days doing this. We've got two seats and we're about to seal them. I don't know how this really works. I've read the instructions. We mix 50-50 to get a 50% gloss, not 100% gloss. Just matte will give you matte. We mix in some hardener. Don't know what it is. Told you it's not how to. I've got all the gear, but no idea. So I'm gonna mix up 125 mils of this. So 70. I'm gonna mix 125 of this one, 125 of this one, and 30 mils of the hardener in a beaker. Chica, 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 whack it in a spray gun, and go go ham. See what happens. So yeah, never done this before. Let's go.
catch up one more time. I really want to cross the line. I do it all before I die. I want to get it on tonight. I want to get you one more time. I really want to cross the line. I want to get you one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Ooh, this time I want to take it slow. So that's two coats of sealant. I don't know if I should do more or not. I have no idea. I'm going to see how these get on. They've had two coats of the sealant. One of them was a, a heavy coat at the start. It was a bit of a mistake, I think. Um, and then a lighter coat after I turned the pressure down. This is the end result. I mean, the colour is bang on. It's matte. It's not. Um, it's still got a sheen, but it's not too... The camera makes it look shiny than it is it's more of a matte shiny but with a bit more of a matte to it more as george says oem finish so these two seats are fully fully done and now just need to go out the way so that we crack on with the back seats um, paint should arrive for the back seats tomorrow. Um, work at dealership, so it should be delivered tomorrow. And then Saturday night, we will paint the back seats. We're definitely not getting this video done for Sunday. We might send it without the door cards, and then I can do the door cards next week. And the headrest. There's still so much to do. Like, I, I was fooling myself thinking this was going to be something that I could get done in a week never doing it before um, but you know I'm really happy with the way that that looks and I just cannot wait to get it back into the car so again that's me done there's nothing else that I can do now like they're sealed locked in good so we're going to roll over to tomorrow. They've got a dry now in place. So I'll see you tomorrow. This is a trek. Saturday night. Let's go. Let's get crazy. Oh, no. We're just going to do seats. Uh, I kind of uh, pulled the door cards out and took apart that seat, headrest. That, that's all been cleaned down. That. So... Let's plow through this, get this all cleaned up. I'm gonna for tape up that, tape up that, blah blah. Yeah, it's long. Got low energy right now. I've been at work all day, and this is really starting to get long. So, if you are gonna do this, know that it's not a, a one day job, a two day job, it is really a lot of effort.
So that's everything now dull as you like. I've still got the rear door cards and the armrest in the car. I'm going to do them in the car uh, just to save hassle. I can just tape it up, buy it, easy. Then taking it out. So I've decided to do that. Uh, so I'm going to wait an hour for all of this to air out. And then start laying on coats on everything. Try and batch do all of this in one go. So it's done. So that is the base coat, three coats, sponged on and basically you can see that the colour has changed but all the seams, all the edges have got paint on so now it is time to spray. So you've got the, the base coat. So I'm going to give it, I've hair dried it, I'm going to give it 10 minutes just to dry a bit more, get a bit of pudding. And then I'm going to move everything out the way and just do one piece. So let's go ahead. So you can see everything is here. If I try and spray this, this is in the way. I can't get to all the edges. So I'm going to do one thing at a time. Spray it, hair dryer, move it, spray it, hair dryer, move it. So we'll do each thing in the middle to get the best results. Because what I don't want it is they're looking so good. And then I rush this, and it doesn't look as good. I know it's just the back seats. But what I don't want is, especially these, these have to be perfect door cards. So yeah, I, I am going to be doing this bit, and then putting the black inserts in the middle. And it does, which one side is it? Ah, this side. So you can see it's fine with the orange so i just think it'll look cleaner my choice my car so yeah i'm gonna take 10 and then we're gonna move when you drain me back everything will be moved and we'll just have one piece in the middle so spray him
guys I'm gonna end this video there we didn't quite finish it all this week but we definitely will have this interior back in by next week's video so next week's video we're gonna do the black headlining install this interior and have a proper look looks like I mean it's 95% there obviously we've seen the seats in the earlier part of the video might need to just do one more coat on these but they're pretty good to be honest they're just drying obviously need to get the carpet dye for the headliner and do in there it's the piece that goes there I've done that all the way around the overspray guys is water based so that will just come off with a bit of uh, white spirit so that's not a stress that's going to be painted orange with a black insert so yeah these videos take a lot a lot of effort guys so i would really appreciate a thumbs up subscribe if it's what you're into and i'll see you in the next one